A south side Indianapolis park is found to have dangerous levels of arsenic and lead. We first told you about possible contamination at Sandoff Park earlier this week. And News 8's Eric Feldman combed through the test findings. And Eric, as you look through this, kind of surprised here. A lot of the residents apparently didn't know about this. Yeah, that's something that we've been learning over the course of this week. And with a K through 8 IPS school right next door to this park, there's a whole nother layer to this concern here. After hearing so many neighbors, parents, and even a school employee say they weren't notified about this, we took their concerns to city and IPS leaders. Neighbors excited about a half million dollar upgrade to Sandorf Park have actually been living near dangerous levels of arsenic and lead. Even though the park is fenced off, wind or rain could move this contaminated soil closer to people's homes or to Super School 19 possibly increasing risks of kidney and heart disease. We took the findings to Dr. Carlton Waterhouse, an IU environmental law professor who has worked for the EPA. Children are at risk, especially at risk for lead because there are really no safe levels of lead. The city of Indianapolis has a $3 million plan to clean up the park. Meanwhile, neighbors and parents say they feel left in the dark. I don't even think my wife even knew nothing about it. But no fight or nothing, so. Ooh, that's scary because the mulch used to run off into our parking lot where we park. Wanda Green is not only a parent to a fourth grader, but she says she's worked at the school since 2014. There was no meeting for teachers and for... No. The school's principal says they sent letters home. I don't remember seeing that letter. Several parents tell us they never got one. Do you think that all of them just didn't get the letter, or do you think they over... What do you think... It's the miscommunication here. I think I think they probably overlooked it. Uh, we've definitely done some due diligence with our families. We also went to the Department of Public Works that ran this testing. Director Dan Parker says they met with neighborhood leadership last June while testing was being done and did more once results came in. We literally put a flyer on a thousand homes. Um, so we went door to door once we got the final testing done. Every effort was made to get information in people's hands so they would show up. But only eight people attended that December meeting for parents and homeowners. Wanda Green was not one of them. She got the notice and thought nothing of it. It was a flyer advertising the meeting as simply a Sandorf Park update. I just thought it was about the opening was going to be later. Because they wouldn't necessarily know that their health risk, that, that there might be health risks associated for them or their children with the park. So now as more families and homeowners learn about Sandorf Park, they say they're going to be careful and hope the city fixes it sooner rather than later. All right, so there is some good news here. The tests on Super School 19 property came back clean. DPW also did some home testings along State Avenue where those backyards were actually right by Sandorf Park. And the hope is to eventually open this back up as a park. But right now, obviously, the priority is to make sure that the park is safe. The city is going to continue doing testing according to the report that we read that was dated in February. I can only imagine how terrifying it would be to live around there and have a reporter come up and say, hey, this is happening right next door. But is there any idea how long this contamination could have been there? That's one of the scary things. We don't know how long this has been there. It's been a park since 1959, so several decades. Before then, it was a cement company. So hmm. we don't know exactly how long this contamination could have been there, which brings concern for people who lived there decades ago, maybe used that park decades ago. Yeah, concerned about containment, really, right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, Eric, thank you so much. I know you stay on top of this.